So we'll start from V is equal to U plus 80. Now, what are the possible graphs we can create from here? There is only one possibility if we speak broadly, and that is Y is equal to MX plus C because it's a linear equation. The variables over here will always be velocity and time. Okay. And mostly we will be discussing velocity time graphs only. Acceleration is normally considered as uniform for Suvert equations. So it is not a variable. It's just a constant. I rewrite V is equal to U plus 80 as V is equal to 80 plus U. And if I compare that with Y is equal to MX plus C, then we can see that the value of M will be equal to acceleration. If it is a motion under gravity, then they can ask what is the gradient. They can ask what is the acceleration from the graph. They can even ask initial velocity. That will be their intercept. Okay. So if you are clear with this thing, then they can say that what is the initial velocity for this shown graph? So you have to just find the intercept if it is a velocity time graph. So how it will look? If the value of initial velocity is zero, then graph will start from the origin. This is a graph of initial velocity zero body starting from rest. If there is a case where something is thrown with some velocity, then also we can get a straight line graph only any kind of straight line graph, but it will never start from rest. So this thing is U. Whenever there is a straight line graph, it shows uniform acceleration. If a velocity time graph is having a curve, okay, if a velocity time graph is having a curve, it means it is non-uniform acceleration. So we are discussing uniform accelerations only and all Suvat equations are applicable only for them. Okay, so this is the first equation with which we can get all these type of things in the exam. Second equation is S is equal to UT plus half AT square. Now, what are the different variety of graphs can be created from here? One will be graph of S versus T. If you are drawing a graph of S versus T, then you can see that this is a quadratic equation. Just look at it carefully, T square. So if it is a quadratic equation, it means that you're going to get some curve and that curve can be of any type, kind of like this. This is just a tentative graph. This, when t is zero, s will be zero, which is fairly possible. Okay. And why it is an upward parabola, why it is not going like this. The reason for that is if you look at s versus t relation, we have s is directly proportional to t square. If we would have s proportional to root of t, then this orange one would have been the answer. Okay. So this is a very basic thing about graph, which you should know. So if we have S versus T graph, there will not be much variations. You can very easily see the gradient. Okay. They can ask gradient at any point. Is there a possibility that we can find a gradient at any point? Gradient of a VT graph, which is technically equal to change in V over change in time gives me acceleration. If it is a VT graph, then only gradient will give me acceleration whether it is uniform, non-uniform. Okay. There can be a VT graph, which can be given in the form of a curve also. And they can ask us gradient at a point. We have to do the same thing. We'll draw the tangent and then we'll find rise over run. It has to be velocity time graph. If it is displacement versus time graph, as what we were discussing over here, then gradient of a displacement versus time graph, the easiest way to think is you just write like this displacement upon time. What is displacement upon time? Velocity. Velocity. So this gradient will be giving me velocity. This is very tricky because this is not a but usual thing. Isn't the x axis t squared? Okay. It was never said anywhere that this is a gradient of a straight line graph. Point number one. Okay. <laughs> so if it is t square, then they can ask us to find the gradient at t is equal to four seconds. It can be asked like this. Okay. Let's say this is a very direct question. Na? Indirectly, they can ask, find the, uh, find the velocity at t is equal to four seconds. They will give you that this is the displacement time graph and find the velocity at t is equal to four seconds. What you will do? You will make a tangent. You will find rise over run and that will give you a rough estimate of velocity at t is equal to four. Okay. It's not gradient as per this t square and all this. That will be applicable only for y is equal to mx plus c. Mm. Okay. Since it is a non-linear curve, so it will have different gradient at different points. So it will have different velocities at different points. Okay. So in a question, they will always give you the time also. They have to. Otherwise, question will be not possible. Okay. So gradient of a displacement time graph will give me velocity. Right. Okay. Going back to the graph, this is one of the possibility. Another possibility for this equation is 
S is equal to ut plus half a t square. Like we saw in that question that if initial velocity is zero, if a body is at rest, then we can get a relation S is equal to half a t square. Okay. For this relation, if you are drawing graph of S versus T, if you are drawing graph of S versus T, it will be just a parabola of similar type. There will be no change. Okay. There will be slight changes in the concavity of the curve, but not much change in appearance. But if you're drawing a graph of S versus T square for this case, then it will be a straight line. It will be a straight line and passing through origin and the gradient of that will be A by 2. A by 2. Mm. Using that 1 by 2 also. Mm. Okay. And if it is a graph of, let's say, S, 2S versus T square, as it was given in the option. Okay. Then also it will be a straight line. But now the only thing changed will be, this is S versus T square. This was S versus T. So the only thing which will change in this graph will be the gradient. Gradient earlier it was A by 2. Now it will be only A. Yeah. Okay. So these type of variations, like one of the question was that, and these are the other possible variations, but you should be able to analyze equations like this. Okay. So I think for this equation, these are the only possible things. Okay. We are moving on to the third equation. V square is equal to U square plus two A S. There are two variables over here. One is velocity. Initial and final velocity will be treated as velocity only. Okay. Mm. And the other variable is displacement. Acceleration is uniform. So the first possible graph, which we can draw over here will be V square versus S. If it is a graph of V square versus S, it will be a straight line graph having two A as the gradient and V square or U square as a intercept. Mm. Okay. If U is not zero. So if it starts with u not equal to zero, then this thing will be u square. Gradient will be 2a and this is v square versus s graph. Okay. If it starts from rest, then it is obvious the same v square versus s graph will start from origin. Okay. This is u is equal to zero. Acceleration like uh, gradient will be same 2a and this is v square versus s. Okay. Another possibility which we can get over here is if a body starts from rest, V square is equal to U square plus two A S. If a body starts from rest and we have V is equal to square root of two A S. Mm. Okay. So we can get V versus square root of S graph from here. And in one of the earlier examples, we have discussed that if we have Y proportional to root X, then it will be like this. So this is V and this is root S and this is how the graph will look like. Okay. It's all maths. So if you know how to apply all those things, which you have learned in year 11 in maths, these graphs were there. Y versus root X. Y is equal to one by X. Okay. This we have not used yet, but this will come in thermodynamics. PV is equal to NRT. Okay. It will come over there. So, V versus root S will be like this. We cannot, like, they can ask us gradient, but when they ask gradient for any random thing, na, you always just divide the quantities and see whether it makes sense or not. Mm. So, V divided by root S is not giving me any value. Is it giving me any value? As per this equation, mm. so V divided by root S will be equal to root 2A. So, I cannot yeah. call this thing as acceleration. This is not acceleration. Okay. So for this particular graph, they can never ask you a question that find acceleration using the graph. It's not possible. Well, okay. you could hypothetically, like you could use rule 2A to okay. find acceleration, right? Let's say if hypothetically they are saying that find the acceleration when displacement was three meters, let us go with this question. So at right. three meter, you are going to draw a tangent, then you will do rise over run. And that rise over run, you should know that you are actually finding root 2A value. Mm -hmm. Let's say, a hypothetical value came out to be five. Okay. 
we have to square it up. 2a is equal to 25. And that will give me the acceleration as 12.5. So here, there is a possibility. Mm. Okay, we cannot deny that. But yeah, then you should know that this will not be directly acceleration, but from there on solving, we can get it. Right. Okay, so these are all total possibilities which we can get for Sovet equation graphs.